Do you know with one tool and some simple diagnosis, you can tell the condition of your engine? Well, you can, it's called a vacuum gauge. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. Let's talk a little bit about vacuum. What is it and how it's created? Well, we all know compression. When it goes up, it actually squeezes that mixture in there. The rings, the valves, it's all gotta be able to squash in there. But opposite that, as that piston's going down, that's called the intake stroke. We're actually drawing that air fuel mixture in and creating a vacuum. You can see it in action right here. That piston's on its way down, and when that piston's on its way down, that intake valve's open. We're creating an absence of pressure, a vacuum, that air fuel ratio then getting put into that cylinder. I told you you can actually use a vacuum gauge to read it. Yeah, super simple. How do you want to hook it up? Well, just find you a vacuum source. Always pass the throttle body there. We got a Mustang here. We actually found a good vacuum source right there. Just put a vacuum gauge on it. You're going to have to have somebody inside the car. Go ahead and start the car. Once you start the car, read your gauge. What are you looking for on the gauge? Well, that's important. I got a couple different readings here for you. Normal vacuum, 17 to 21 inches of mercury. Low but steady, the actual next three of them. You got low but steady, you got steady low, and then you got steady low. You either have an intake leak or something going on with the timing, something like that. And then you can actually use it for a clogged exhaust. You can hold it to 2,500 RPM, and then if it slowly goes to zero, you know that you're not getting the exhaust out, you can't get any vacuum in. Let know one problem is those high performance cars. That camshaft. If I have that camshaft, vacuum gauge readings are not going to work, and you need some special considerations with that as well. What are you going to do for high performance cars with AMS oil? Well, from an oil standpoint, you know, generally speaking, that hippity hoppity camshaft that you're talking about, you know, it requires more additives, more wear protection. Basically, it's a boosted, you know, formulation. Our racing oils when we're speaking ultra high performance, are fortified with that. So it's got extra zinc is the key word that everybody knows. It's got boosted zinc. It's got boosted anti-wear additives. It's got very, very robust heavy duty base oils in it to provide the protection that those racing engines require. Now they need that because of bearings. Let's talk a little bit about bearings and racing oils, more compression. Right, compression, supercharging, nitrous oxide, all of those things are going to apply heavy pressure on the bearings. So if you don't have good film strength, that metal can get real close to touching, and that creates wear. Old school cars with that cam lope, and we also have different camshafts back then too. Correct. Uh, flat tap at camshafts, you know, were and continue to be a thing. Uh, those require very simply they require ZDDP, also referred to as zinc. And once again, we we do boost our racing oils with more zinc. Well, whether you have a normal car, a race car, snowmobile, ATV, UTV, no matter what you have. Just go to amsoil.com and they got a specifically designed oil for you.